I think I'm there. 558, I think. How you doing, Rob? Hey, Frank, how are you? Very good. Can't see you. Nope, okay. Uh, there it is. Ah, there Much better. Go. Yeah, I was wondering where, where I was. <laughs> not in your car today. Yeah, I'm not in my car today, I'm at home. Thursdays is my day off in, uh, from Rhode Island, so I'm here and- uh, Oh yeah. I'm on Lake Wyola. All right. It's all good. That's great. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day for a change. Yeah, it's a beautiful day for a change. They, I think they stocked the uh, the fisheries was here today this morning. Really got up. Yeah, I think it's like the third time this year. Sometimes one year they let three tanks out. I watched that videotape. That was pretty. The size fun. of the fish, like a foot. Yeah, but, but yeah, some there's some good ones there, and uh, you see every yeah. once in a while you see someone going in there and just fishing, and filling up a bucket, but. Uh, they heard for they heard for uh, the first. Yeah, you got to go some corn, right? And just feed them like you're feeding chickens. Yeah, <laughs> chickens or or peas or whatever. But yeah, they basically uh, they herd for a while and then they disperse. And it, it's I think the uh, eagles are invited too because they come down and see them and yeah. enjoy enjoy a good meal. And uh, so that's pretty good. I used to I used to run run around in my truck with a rod uh, on my gun rack, you know. Yeah. One of those trucks going down the road, I'd say, well. I think I'll just follow this guy for a while. Oh, see where he goes, you know. Yeah. I did. I see two guys out there now. I don't know if it's the same one, but I met someone uh, last year right after they did it. And he takes the barb off and he does a catch and release. He said, "I just do it for catch and release." And uh, you know, so I know people who eat the trout. Um, we've got another friend who's got a young son. He brings his out there, and he won't let them catch him catch, uh, keep fish till June till they're acclimated. That's what I did. I would never eat a stock fish. They're, they're just yeah. like not even red. Because no. they eat corn. No, is that what they do? Eat corn? I, you, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, when we were, I made corn. So. Yeah. When we when we were kids, uh, we were up in uh, some fisheries in uh, Mount Pillar, somewhere way up Vermont. We went to them, and uh, they had that uh, bum gall machine, and they had the pellets in there, and you you just do that. But have you been to the Montague uh, fisheries? I've been there, yeah. Yeah, I, I was there on a on a rainy day when I first moved here, and it was just absolutely made amazing. The WPA and the moss, and how old it was, and it was, there used to be a big one in Sunderland, but they got busted because they were uh, the guy was shooting all the um, eagles and the herons, and oh really? Yeah, he got caught. Someone turned him in, and uh, he ended up federal expense. You know, it was a protected species. Yeah, but I, I, well, they they have the open tanks for them too, and yeah, they were know, open tanks, and the, fish, the yeah, birds were just coming down and eating. eating and, Helping themselves, huh? Yeah, but they, <laughs> the the eagles are pretty do pretty well here. Um, uh, they do very well here. Uh, and uh, I've got a picture of a, a mom or a dad. There's only one white headed one, and two uh, immatures. And one immature had white uh, feathers coming in, so that was the older of the two last year. It was on the island out here in the and you know they're just squawking at everything. And mom took the two breasts off of the fish or whatever, and then. You know, left and they fought over it, so it was pretty interesting. Well, that's great. Looks like we've got a, a, a quorum here. Oh, good. At six oh three, I can't see Steve or Mike or Jude or Bill. Yeah. You can't see me. 
I'm this is the first time I've ever hosted. There one. you are, Steve. Probably gonna make mistakes. How you doing, Steve? We're not on here, dear. Mike, are you Bill? Are you are I see your name up here, but I don't see you. Yeah, I'm I can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but you gotta press yeah. there's a button down the left of the screen say start video, I think. Oh, okay. Go down the bottom left of your screen. Yeah. There you go. There I yeah. am. Not okay. <laughs> All right. This is uh, my first time hosting a Zoom meeting, so we okay. prepared some Can't wait chaos, you guys are in person. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we have a quorum, so we're going to start the meeting. I'm going to try to keep notes here. Yep. Uh, the minutes. Everybody get the minutes. Yep. yep. Want to read them or tell me what was wrong? No, they look good to me. They look good to me too. Seems Steve, exactly what we talked up. about. All right, we'll just have a vote. Uh, do, do we uh, take, have a motion to approve the minutes? Motion to approve the minutes. Second. Okay. Vote aye. 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 All right, approved, done. So uh, the first thing on the agenda was uh, the, Sh the Shootsbury Elementary School HVAC, uh, which is an ongoing issue that uh, presumably we're gonna get more details about. Um, this is what I know. I sent everybody the document to it. I, I got in touch with an engineer uh, I talked to Margot uh, Jones, architects, and I talked to Bob Leach and a couple other engineers, and they recommended this guy, Hessner. So I got a proposal from him, and I wanted to share that with you all. Mm -hmm. And I think, personally, I think that uh, I did what I sort of described the problem well enough, I think, to them, but I don't think I've described it well enough to design a bidding document. And that's what I think we need to do is get an engineering firm to, uh, to, to make up that bidding document for us so that, and then to have a punch list about when things are done properly before we make the last payment on the uh, contract. So yep. what are your views about that? Okay, well, well, Becky, Becky was supposed to be doing another inquiry to another engineer. I haven't heard from her and seen it. I'm gonna, she's not gonna, I don't think she's gonna be here tonight. She's at a personnel board meeting. But I was supposed to see her Monday night at Capital Planning, Steve. And we talked about this last night at the FinCom. And I reminded her that we had a meeting. We scheduled a FinCom meeting for after it at six. We had been planning on five o'clock for our capital planning. But guess what's not posted? <laughs> <laughs> Your three guesses. So it's too late to, to post that five o'clock meeting, I think, uh, because today's Thursday and I think that's that's the two day limit, right? Well, I, don't I don't know what's going to happen there, Steve. But that's Becky. But uh, I think really that we got to get it nailed down who the engineer is, number one, and then we got to nail down what if any federal money is applicable to this job, you know, and maybe work with the engineer to draw up the proposal so that it. It kind of runs parallel to the federal guidelines. And I think that would be a smart thing to do. Uh, I also mentioned in my letter to the engineer that I wanted them to give us an estimate or a description of a whole building ventilation system, which I think, I think is pretty, I'd be really surprised if that was not funded by the government because it's a real health issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. COVID, and I think it would be a real, real improvement of the building to have that anyway, because what they did now, I think what Jamrock did was just turn on some evacuation fans and crack some windows and he got the air to exchange what two times an hour steve twice yeah so yeah. we can we can with us with a real system that it can be integrated with the controls it can be uh it can change the exchange rate depending on the circumstances the time of year whatever and uh i think it would be a great addition to the school uh if we could get it, especially if we can get it paid for by somebody else I agree. I agree that if you uh, go ahead and do something and we shoot for the moon and go for the big pie and see what we can do and have a, a professional help us with along that line, if we get the money, great. If we don't yeah. we've invested just a little and we have that in the future to use that for future things as more money's come in. But if we can tack it on to COVID, that'd be a, a, a I great think, thing. I think so, Frank. And I think also we might we very well get the engineering paid for too, you know? Yeah. So uh, I'm, that's what we're headed to try to do. Uh, Becky, uh, last night we asked her at FinCom what she knew about the uh, the guidelines or the rules or the protocols for this money, and she didn't really have any specifics. 
So we got to get, maybe I, we can independently, I can maybe ask uh, Madeline Blaise's, not Madeline, uh, Natalie Blaise's office or Joe Comerford's office to send me uh, some links and I can look it into it uh, to see, you know, get this thing going because it, hit, it would be really sad if we missed the boat on that. And I think we need this job done in the summertime, right, Steve? Oh, yeah. So uh, before heating season and before school starts would be ideal anyway. Yes. So it's time to get busy on this. And I think we've made some progress. And I think that the, that, that whole dimension of it, that is who pays for it, is a significant one, you know. But uh, at this point, on capital planning, we're supposed to discuss whether we're supposed to put some money in the budget for uh, the job if in case money didn't come through. But I'm not sure when we're going to have our capital planning meeting now. So that's 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 to be determined. So I don't know what else we can say about this at this point. Any any other thoughts? Nope. Okay. Well, the other school issue is that's ongoing is the slider, Steve. And I did call a whole slew of carpenter good carpenters that I know, and all of them are booked this whole year. And they, I asked them to give me names of people they knew. And he said, and they'd say that those people are, <laughs> that are any good are booked. So, you know, I don't know what, if I had to do it, I, you know, talk to Becky, talk to, to the, uh, to the authorities, uh, I could stall the damn things myself, but I'd have, you know, I'd want to be paid for it, but um, I would, uh, I don't know what the ins and outs of that is. I've worked for the town before. But mm -hmm. I still will, I'm still looking for someone to do it, uh, and I, you know it's got to be someone that will do a good job. It's not just anyone. So, um, any thoughts do you people have about carpenters that you know? Everybody I got the I same. Know, retired. No. Yeah, right. That's the other thing. And I asked right, a couple. Retired or just couple. tired? <laughs> and I asked the same thing, and, it, and my friend just didn't uh, send a text back, and he finally said, "I'm not looking at anything this year, Frank. I'm, I'm you know, I'm just not looking at anything else." So. It's, and I said it was a, it's a it's a short job it's two installers but the, you know that's the whole thing someone they're working six days a week right now um, i i don't get it but you know what i from my what i understand from all my contemporaries people my age uh, and the people that work for me that are now in a position where they have employees and young people today the t people in their 20s don't really want to work no <laughs> no, it's no. Kind of, there's no buddy coming up that are being trained up, you know, that it's kind of strange. I don't know if it has something to do with the digital revolution or what, but it's definitely a factor. And so everybody's working with less help or by themselves. And so everything's taking a lot longer and that that's, that's slowing everything down too. Plus materials are hard to get. Um, so that's another issue here. At some point, we're gonna to have to just order this slider and get it and hope then try to find someone to put it in. So. I think maybe we should order the thing and keep it, you know, keep it uh, somewhere, either on one of the buildings at the school or uh, somewhere else, you know, my barn or whatever. But I prefer not to keep it in my barn because I would be worried that I would break it and then I would uh, own it, you know. So, <laughs> but uh, what do you think about that? Do you think we should buy it? Well, yeah, well, I, mean, I think it's pricing and stuff just going to keep escalating. That's one factor. The other factor is that the supply chain is balled up everywhere now. You can't, stuff that ordinarily you would get, you know, in three three weeks, sometimes it's taking months. Yeah. So I think maybe the slider should be ordered up. I, I think I think we should, get, if the money's already allocated for the slider, order it, get it. Um, and Steve, is there any place at the school to keep it safely? No. <laughs> That's a problem with, with a big No, there, there, there's literally no storage space at, the school. Each classroom has a closet, and then Matt's got those two sheds. But there's really no no room to put anything anywhere. What about the, the right old shed that the was supposed to be used for recycling? That's now just sitting there. Oh no, that's um, the Board of Health uses that one. What do they use it for? I think they've got a few bins of old papers in there now. Uh, well, okay. Well, we'll have to look into that. Let's look into where it can go. Like I say, the, what about the old I've town hall? Catherine stuff. So, the old town hall is that I've never been inside. 
Well, one thing is to say we ordered it from Kohl's, you know, they have a they have a place to store it. Right. So we order it, they say it's in, I say, I'll be down in a couple of weeks to get it and leave it there. That would work for a while anyway, until they really mm -hmm. get pissed off at me. So I've done that before. So that's probably what to do. Yeah. Um, I agree with the ordering. My brother-in-law is building houses and he's just going cross-eyed right now because like the Anderson windows, he put an addition on. One came in wrong and, you know, it was still a six to eight weeks, you know, even though it was their fault, it was six to eight weeks to, for production. So um, I'd, I'd, I'd put it in now. We're going to pay the most highest price now. If things slide next year, prices may go down, but uh, I don't think they're going to do that because the interest rates is still low. And, well, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to check the price. We have a certain amount yeah. of money that we put aside for this. Mm -hmm. And we better find out right now whether that's going to be adequate to buy it. Because if it isn't, we got to do something to tell, somewhere to, to, to augment the, the amount. Uh, so I want to. It's I, probably, I, it's going to be up. I think, when did you get the price? Last year? The last time I checked it was uh, before the first capital planning meeting in December. Okay. Or January. One of the, right. Well, maybe it was, yeah, it probably just up 10%. But I, not I'd too. like to. I'd like to do that and order the, the town hall window too, because that's another Marvin product. And yep. does any everybody think that's a good idea, or should we? Do yeah, I just get it. Just get it. The 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 window is easy to store. It's also easy to install. So um, yeah, I'd go ahead and just get them, and we'll figure out where we're putting them. What do you guys uh, think, Bill? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, by the time you order it and get it, the school will you know be through for the year, except for the few kids and staff that are in there during the summer. So yes. Okay, so we're going to order those windows. That's that. That's resolved. Okay. Um, the other, um, the other issue is the old town hall, and I do have this bid from uh, the Rue brothers to use the um, vacuum hose. And the more I look at that, the more I like it. I, but I have another guy, a guy from a company called um, Grassroots Landscaping from Leverett, a guy named Isaiah Isaiah Robeson, and. Uh, He's he's going to bid on it. He came, he came up and looked at it, and he's going to give me a price on it. So hmm. he's going to do it more of a primitive way. He's going to he's got a crew. I told him it's going to pay rate. Uh, he's going to do go in there with an electric hammer and conveyor and just convey out. Uh, I I did ask. I think I asked Tim and Steve if I could get the town to remove a pile of dirt, uh, and so that I would have him convey it to his room to get a machine in there and loaded onto a truck. And so we'll see uh, what he has to say. He says he could do it this, you know, he would do it on rainy days. So if he had some, a rainy week coming up, he would just do it because his crew can't really work a lot of times under rainy conditions. Ah. That, might be, yeah. that might be a good option for us. The other guy, Theru said they would do it anytime too. And I talked to the people up in uh, Eastern that you talked about, Steve, and I'm, they're in the mix too, but, but they're very busy now, so. Not sure. He wouldn't want to bring the truck all the way down here. He said he'd want to have his crew here. Uh, but they have an interesting machine because they squirt water under pressure, and they dislodge the sand with water. Huh. It might make it quicker, you know. Mm -hmm. are you, are they they're pretty quick, right, Steve? Oh, they that yeah, they were super fast. That was the best truck we've had up here ever. Okay, so that's so I think we have three bidders now. So. I think put these three bids together and we'll evaluate them and see where we're going to go with this. Okay. Mm -hmm. But one thing we do need is a carpenter. <laughs> because we're looking at one. <laughs> you know, I, I, I thought I thought I retired my crawl space chops a while ago, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I'm just I think we're making a little progress there because that's been reactivated. And uh, I think once we get a bid from from um, from Isaiah. We can put these together and talk, get back to people and see, see if we want to evaluate and maybe make make a make a commitment to somebody or have them make a commitment to us, get a contract. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so what else do we have to talk about? That's all I have on my agenda. That's it. That's about it, I guess. I really appreciate you guys beating the bushes for a good carpenter for us. Yeah. So we'll put on your thinking cap, and uh, uh, and I'm going to try to do that too. Uh, some of these people don't even call you back because they're so they're so tired of the phone ringing. That's not a great way to get someone to work for you. No. I'm so busy they won't even call you back. Yeah. But that's the times we live in right now. You know. Yeah. 
Is everyone aware that on May 7th, uh, Jim Roop was leaking again onto the floor by the stage? I was never aware of that. When did that happen? That was just a couple days ago? On the 7th? 7th, right. So it, may, it may have happened on the night of the 6th, but it, yeah. Yeah. We... I don't know what's going on with that. See, I'm not involved in that project uh, at all. Becky basically cut me out of it. I don't know why or us out of it. So I don't know if she's got a design for that or a contract. Um, you know, that's something we, and I'm going to ask her to give us a report on that because we should know what's going on because it's part of our brief to, to, to get that thing done. And if we can help somehow or push the project along, then we should do that, you know? So I'm going to ask Becky to help us to get, give us some info on that because this thing should not drag on anymore. It's dragged on far enough, Steve, unless you want to drag on some more. <laughs> No, we got to get this thing done. And we, we already got the money. We we allocated the money at FinCom the other day. It's coming out of free cash. The money's there for this job per, as per the estimate that Becky gave us anyway. So we got to sign somebody up and get that thing scheduled and get it done. And that's just do the gym roof. That's just the gym roof. Uh, the other roof uh, is going to be next year. Yeah. And we got Hayden roofing inside and goes up there and cruises the roof about every couple months. And, you know, it's like, goes up there with his, uh, his roofing tar and his putty knife and his, uh, and a nail gun. So that's just holding the, the, the shingles together that they're worn out. They're ready to be, they're ready to be replaced. Apparently there's some kind of moisture problem that's causing nails to pop. Huh. So that has to be addressed in the, in the re-roof, you know? Yeah. That re-roof, that is a huge roof. It's got acres of roofing. So it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be a substantial job, but it, it's it's not it's pretty straightforward. But then after that, we have to look at the building. The general condition of the building on the outside has to be addressed after the roof is done. I think it's getting to the point where it needs needs some TLC, needs paint. Yeah. Uh, and so we've got to get that building uh, sharpened up the next year or so. I think we should wait. I think we should wait till the roof is done before we do the paint job because roofers tend to be. You know, they tend to ding things up, you know. I agree. So I think the main focus is going to be on that, you know, the old town hall to some degree, but the school. And uh, I think we should meet. Uh, I don't know if we want to meet before town meeting, after town meeting. Uh, what do you guys think? Today's the 12th. When is the town meeting? 12th. Today's the 13th. The town meeting the is the 12th of June. Um, we could meet that week if you wanted to, the 9th. That would work for me. Might be some yep. things we need to discuss before town meeting. Want to do that? OK, May 9th, June 9th, I mean. OK. What time? Six. Is that okay? Yep. Yep. I'm in. Okay, I'm in. So, uh, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Okay. Sayonara. Right, thank you. There you are. Thank you all. Okay. Right. Thank you. That was pretty good. I hosted a meeting. <laughs>